The world around us is full of colour and diversity, from the vibrant hues of a blossoming flower to the warm tones of a bustling marketplace. Colour is an integral part of our visual experience. It shapes our perception of the world, evokes emotions, and helps us to understand and categorise our surroundings. So why then, as photographers, do some of us choose to strip away this layer of complexity and capture the world in shades of grey? Well, for me personally, black and white photography has a special allure. Without the distraction of colour, I find that the subject of a scene is amplified and brought to the forefront. I can feel colour can sometimes act like a background noise in a photograph, overwhelming the viewer with visual information. Whereas black and white photography brings a scene back to its core elements, allowing us to appreciate their composition, the textures, and the emotional undercurrents in a more profound way. I was able to visit the Sony World Photography Awards a while ago, where they celebrated the social documentary photographer Sebastião Salgado, and his iconic images often portraying the struggles and the resilience of humanity are even more powerful in black and white. The absence of colour allows us to connect with his subjects on a deeper level, helping to understand their stories through their expressions, their body language and the intimate details. Black and white photographs also transcend time, taking on a quality that evokes a sense of nostalgia and connection to the past, regardless of when they were taken. This can be seen in the work of countless masters of black and white photography, from Henri Cartier-Bresson's candid captures of decisive moments to Dorothy Lange's haunting portraits during the Great Depression. Their photographs, stripped of colour, become windows into the past, allowing us to connect with the emotions and experiences of those people. And black and white photography allows us to appreciate the play of light and shadow in a scene, the very foundation of creating form and depth in an image. Artists such as one of my favourites, Frank Auerbach, with his strong use of contrast between light and dark in his work, understood this power of black and white to help elevate the interplay of light and shadow. This technique adds depth and drama to an artwork. Black and white photography allows us to focus on these tonal variations, appreciating the way light shapes the subject and creates a sense of three-dimensionality in a 2D world. But even though I'm a strong advocate for black and white, I can understand the allure of colour. Colour can be an equally powerful tool in the photographer's arsenal. It can be used to either emotions, tell stories and create unique visual experiences. It can have a significant emotional impact, evoking a wide range of emotions in viewers. A fiery red can instantly inject passion and intensity into a photograph, while a calming blue sky conveys a sense of peace and tranquility. Look at how William Eggleston used colour to elevate the mundane to the extraordinary through unexpected and saturated colours. Colour can be a powerful tool for storytelling. It can guide a viewer's eye, influencing their interpretation of a scene and creating a deeper narrative within the image. Steve McCurry's iconic photograph of Afghan girl with her piercing green eyes is a powerful example of how colour can be used to draw the viewer in and help tell a deeper story. And it can allow photographers to express their unique vision and creativity. From the hypersaturated hues of Martin Parr to the evocative colour palettes of Alex Webb, colour itself becomes a language. Photographers can use colour harmonies and contrast to create specific moods or atmospheres, or use colour strategically to draw the viewer's eye to certain elements within the frame. Look at the work of Vivian Meyer, who used black and white film for most of her career, but also experimented with colour in a way that feels personal and adds a new layer of meaning to her photography. Look, there's no right or wrong answer in the black and white versus colour debate. It shouldn't even be a debate. It's about finding the approach that best resonates with your artistic vision and the story that you want to tell. So don't be afraid to explore and experiment with both. Perhaps try shooting the same scene in colour 
and black and white and see which one speaks to you more powerfully. You might find that sometimes the subject itself dictates the choice. Black and white portraits might focus on the emotions of a face, while a colourful landscape might emphasise the natural beauty of a scene. Although once you do start finding your feet, I would strongly recommend that you go out with intention. That is, go out with the express purpose of shooting in either black and white or colour, and this will help you create more impactful images. Black and white and colour photography are two sides of the same coin, each offering a unique way to capture the world around us. So let me know in the comments below which approach resonates more with you and why.